In this movie, we'll look at another kind of pseudostate, the history pseudostate. History pseudostates are kind of like a bookmark. They remember past active states. So if a composite state gets interrupted, a history pseudostate lets you return to a marked substate. There are two kinds of history pseudostates, shallow and deep. To continue with the bookmark analogy, the deep history pseudostate takes you back to the page you were on when you set your book down. The shallow history pseudostate, on the other hand, would take you back to the beginning of your most recent chapter. In other words, deep history lets you return to the most recent substate, no matter how deep it is, inside the composite state. Shallow history resumes at the outermost or initial substate. For an example, take a look at this very simple first stab at modeling a DVD player. In the running composite state for the DVD player, we have the substates reading, waiting, and playing. The turn off event takes us out of the running state into the off state, and that's our final state. What happens, though, if there's a power cut while the DVD player is in the running state? Not the turn off event, but just a loss of power. Let's create a state called no power, and we'll show a transition from running to no power, and we'll call that lose power. So the event there, as opposed to turning off, is lose power. If you use shallow history, and that is shown by a circle with an H inside. If you use the shallow history pseudostate, when power is restored, then this will take things back to the initial or the outermost substate within the running composite state. So that would be reading, and then it would move on to waiting, and then when it received an event it would move on to playing, and so on. So shallow history takes things back to the first substate, the outermost substate in the composite state. On the other hand, deep history, and that is represented as you see here, a circle with an H and an asterisk, when power is restored, rather than taking you necessarily back to the outermost or initial substate, would take you back to whichever substate was active when the loss of power occurred. So, for example, if you were watching a movie, Deep History would take you right back to the movie where you were when this event of losing power took place. So deep history can take you back to whichever state in the composite state, whichever substate in the composite state was active when the lose power event occurred. So that shows you how the history pseudostate does function as a bookmark. Shallow history taking you back to the initial substate, and deep history taking you back to whichever substate was active when the interruption occurred.